Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and an amazing life. We're out here playing, and the first time I guess she just heard uh, thunder, so she got really scared. We are now standing under this shelter here while it's raining. Something beautiful about the rain, you know, just being outside, seeing the rain fall, seeing the clouds move. A book that will change your mindset and, and really your life is Four Arguments for the Elimination of Television. I highly encourage every single one of you guys to read that book. When you read a book, you're reading someone's words, someone's life's work, a passion of theirs that they spent years and years and years doing the research, finding all the facts, and then using all the information and laying it out in a, in a way that others could benefit from it. Check it out. Really check it out. We're spending too much time these days indoors, in cubicles, in buildings, pursuing things that don't really matter. I mean, we, f we feel depressed all the time, right? And we ask ourselves, why are we so depressed? Where's my purpose in life? You know, why am I not content in life? Although I might have bought the next phone, I might have the nicest car, I might have a house, and you have all these things that you wanted, you know, since you were young. And you got them, but they didn't bring about any happiness. Why? Answer that question, and most can't. And the reason for that is these materialistic things, they don't bring happiness. What brings happiness is this, spending time with the ones you love, being grateful for what you have. Right now in my life is a point that I'm really happy to be able to experience. You want to hide? Okay, let me hide you, let me hide you. Right now there's a moment in my life where I have hit rock bottom and every time I hit the bottom I don't I feel like that's the rock bottom but it goes further and further downhill you know and it's it teaches you patience it teaches you the value of being grateful for when you had a lot it, sometimes we need to have those realizations before these illnesses before these afflictions impact us you know to be weary to be to understand the signs of our own souls, of our own well-being, to know that when something hurts you, right? If something, some ailment in your body, you have a pain, it's a warning that, yo, listen, you're doing something in your life that needs to change. Maybe you're eating too much, maybe you're smoking too much, maybe you're drinking too much, whatever it is, these signals come, these distress signals from the body that you need to change something. The same way, the soul, the soul, the soul, has these distress signals, depression, anxiety, and the way that these can be corrected is by spending more time in nature, to pursue things that are not materialistic, pursue things that are spiritual, that are, that you can't buy, essentially. You can't buy this, okay? You can't buy this. So that's it, guys. I'm gonna end this vlog right now. I, I wanted to just share some of my thoughts with you guys and hopefully inspire and motivate uh, anyone who's going through maybe a tough time in their life, maybe they're depressed, they're feeling down, maybe things are not working out for you right now in life, keep going. Be patient, read books like The Four Arguments of Elimination of Television. These books will open your mind, you know, and, and, and spend time with the ones that you love, the, you know, your family, your friends, and understand that after every storm, there's always a rainbow, there's always sunshine. Don't worry, be happy. With that, keep smiling guys, and have an amazing life. And just like that, the storm is over. Stop raining. And now the sun is about to come out. Clouds are moving away. Mm -hmm.